Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. I am late. I actually forgot to set my alarm clock last night, and so I'm running about a half hour behind. So, sorry if this is real rushed. Uh, today, we're doing a solo goose hunt. I'm really excited. This will be, well, it's technically my third attempt at it. I should shoot one. Uh, it's a wheat field that I'm going to. There are three groups of honkers that have been going to it. So, three, three groups of big birds. Normally about, oh, there's probably 20 or 30 birds probably per group. And then there's about one or 200 lessers also. So there were four different groups on this field. We got a dusting of snow last night, so I'm not sure how my blind situation is gonna work out. But I grabbed five dozen decoys of the dive boncillos because I wanna make it small, make it look appealing to them. Hopefully it works out and I don't fail horribly. But yeah, that's the master plan. I am gonna get to the field. It's, it's really close to where I live, so that's, that's good. I don't have real far to go. But uh, yeah. I'll see you guys there in a little bit. Well, <clears throat> all set up. It's shooting light. Uh, been hanging out for like the last 15 minutes, but we have a, you know, decent amount of cloud cover, so it's still pretty dark. Can't really see them, but my spread's about 30 yards out there. <coughs> now it's a little bit lighter. I thought I'd give you a little bit more of a rundown while I'm waiting on the birds. Uh, all right, so, I put out five dozen dive bomb cells. We'll look at the spread here in a little bit. Just sort of strung them out in a, it's kind of a crescent, kind of. It's more strung out uh, than a blob because that's how I saw the birds here last night. The closest decoy is about 30 yards. So I'm probably gonna have a few shots that are, you know, the 40 yard hopefully range. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, mainly because it's really hard. I mean, I just went, well, I need to brush that in a little bit more. So, you know, with the snow on the ground, it looked kind of like a sore thumb out here. I didn't want to use just white, you know, put a sheet over it or anything because there's not that much snow on the ground, but it's not the best hide that I've ever put together either. So, I mean, I'm hoping it works. Most of you guys know that I am a very amateur waterfowl hunter. Uh, this is, I mean, it's all new to me, so I'm learning. I'm working on it, so any pointers and stuff like that, I appreciate all the help I can get. Uh, Gerald and Bobby over at Sandhill Flyways, they have helped me a ton, and I i mean, I'm learning. So hopefully, hopefully it works. Hopefully I get some of my first solo birds of the year. Um, I got a few last year, it was a lot of fun. But this is the first time, you know, layout blind, decoys, the whole nine yards. Last time I just found, you know, a big old feed or a pond that they were going to and shot a few birds. I had a lot of fun, killed some birds. It was great, but you know, I didn't call, didn't do anything. I ugh, still won't call much because it's really bad, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So anyway, that's a little rundown real quick. Hopefully the next clip will be birds in the sky. Well, those birds I'm pretty sure are pond hopping. They got off the, where they're roosting at, and are currently going down over another body of water that's, you know, just a little bit over. So hopefully they come over here soon. Well, my excitement is waning. There's still birds flying around, but the pond that they've all been dropping into uh, is surrounded by a wheat field. And so I'm kind of guessing that they're not just pond hopping, that they're actually just gonna hang out there all day and eat there. Uh, but all the everything that I've seen go there has been lessers. There's been some snows that circled and took out, but um, none of the honkers that I was hoping for, I I haven't seen any of them. So I mean, I'm gonna stick it out for a while, but yeah, not going the way I was hoping. But you know, I'm out here though.
They caught me off guard. I know I got one. I think I hit a second one, but I don't know if he went down. Had some uh, stuff. I did not get that second one? Come on. Um, anyway, hey, I got one. Had some brush stuck in my gun, so it did not function right. Should have had three, but hey, I got one. Ugh, look at that. Got me a honker. That was the plan. Just, uh, you know, didn't work out quite like I wanted it to. Hey, but I got one bird. Big old honk daddy. I'm really cold right now though, so hold on. Okay, I think I've calmed down enough where I can talk now. Oh, just everything, yeah. I, <laughs> I was a lot overwhelmed because I was really starting to get very down and I was very cold. I'm still cold. My feet are really, 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 really cold. But yeah, those honkers came in. I only got one. Somehow I only had two shells in the gun. I'm not sure why, I, I'm not sure how that worked. But when I fired the first time, some of these leaves got in there and caused it to malfunction. So I only got two shots. Second shot, I thought I'd dump two of them, but apparently I body shot him, I hit him, and uh, yeah, he left. Bummer. But hey, I got one goose. <sighs> I'm happy, I'm just really, really cold. So we'll, t we'll take a look at him here a little bit. I'm gonna sit for a little bit longer. Why aren't you cycling? Ah, my gun jammed. Hey, I got one snow. Juvie. Uh, but that is not supposed to look like that. Oh, I gotta fix my gun. Hey, I got a snow. That was unexpected. Whew. I just, ah, my gun is not functioning well. That's really, really irritating. Should have had two. I should have way more birds on the ground. Hey. Can't win them all. Let me get this thing fixed. Okay, got my gun all cleared out. I don't know what happened there. I know my gun's a little dirty. I didn't clean it the last couple times that I took it out. So it's probably just me not taking care of my stuff and you know, flying by night. But we gotta go out here and pick up Mr. Juvie. Hey dude, there we go. Old dirty Juvie there. Look at that. Nice snow. I really didn't think that was gonna happen. I don't, I, they just sort of popped out of nowhere. There had been a group of like seven or eight snows. I'm sure that was the same group that's just been hanging out in here. Uh, but I was not expecting to shoot one. Man, I really, I wish I could have dialed all three. That, oh, hey, take what you can get, right? I'm shooting black cloud number ones. And I really like it, but apparently I was not paying a whole lot of attention and I got a defect. The reason it didn't eject is right there. Part of the case, or the plastic hole is on the outside. Never seen that before. Huh. I really like these shells though. They do really good. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm just not having the best of luck today. But after, you know, seeing bird after bird go to a different spot, finally seeing birds come to me, man, like, 
I love it. This is awesome. I'm so happy right now. Anyway, maybe something else wants to come play. Oh, you guys want to come? I gotta get the decoys. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Oh my goodness. Seriously? Oh, I'm so mad right now. I got one, but I am so mad right now. Why is my gun not cycling? There's no reason that it should click. Oh, hey, I got one more. There we go. Pretty much shooting a single shot, apparently. Um, I mean, it's my own fault. Look how dirty she is. My fault. But hey, I gotta get this bird out of the decoys real quick. Thumbs up for landing him, right? Horrible calling, but it's a good spread. So yeah, I'm gonna go get him. I think I have a little bit of lube and I'm just going to douse the living tar out of the insides of my gun. Hopefully, hopefully I get another shot. Whew. My battery's about dead. We're gonna go out here and we're gonna pick him up. <sighs> oh, well, hey, I'm just so pumped right now that I actually got to shoot something. Cause all my previous solo hunts this year, birds didn't show up. I thought it was gonna happen again. But I got me a nice little lesser. Look at that. How cool to be as a banded, but you know, of course he's not. Ah, that is, I'm so happy. Such a good day. <laughs> well guys, I think that we're pretty much done. Uh, haven't seen any birds go, well, okay. A bunch of the birds that were feeding over around in the different areas, I saw them go back to water. So I'm gonna assume that, you know, that's it for the day. But I mean, even with my gun not functioning, which is completely my fault, I, yeah, I didn't clean my gun and I paid the price for it. I should have limited. That's the annoying thing is I should have limited, which would have been extra epic. But hey, I'm a newbie here. Gun cleaning isn't a new thing, but I mean, five dozen dive bomb silos and I got lessers to land with my horrible calling. I mean, what more do you want? Of course, now that I'm out here, I see some specs. It's 1130. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're done. Look at how good five dozen dive bombs did. So easy to put in. I mean, they're easy to pick up, but they're just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I highly recommend these dive bomb decoys. They did work. Five dozen. Landed lessers. Crazy. So, uh, just because I know some of you guys are going to ask, I was blowing the duck's goose call. That's what I've got. Uh, I also have, I mean, I got another call, but I guess I am just not pushing enough air to make that one work right now. 
I really struggled to blow effectively, you know, I'm, I'm still learning and I've been slacking off for a while and haven't actually been practicing and it showed a lot. Here's what we got today. We got our honker, a lesser, a snow, and you know, like five birds that you know should be there uh, aren't, but still my fault. But one thing that's really awesome about these dive bomb decoys, if you get the bag, you can just fold them up and stick them underneath your lay down. I mean, look how convenient that is. All you gotta do is flip them out, put the floor back down, load them up. So nice. And it gives me something flat to lay on, which was so nice, especially, I mean, it's a wheat field, but there's lots of corn, you know, stubble and stuff in there. Corn stubble's not the most comfortable thing to lay on. They're very, very, you know, stubbly. But yeah, anyway, I just wanna show you guys how nice it is to have these dive bomb bags. You can find cheaper bags, but you probably won't find better bags. Pick one up with your decoys. It's worth it. I'm making a quick pit stop here. Man, been thinking about getting one of these 40 foot shipping containers. But uh, the main reason is that I was thinking I need a trap shed, I need a spot to stick decoys, and it'd be kind of nice to have like a studio area, you know, for the whole YouTube stuff. Um, so I was thinking, well shoot, one of these might work. You know, take like the back, oh, I don't know how much. You know, shoot, I could even take the back half of it, back third of it, back fourth, whatever. Make that much, insulate it real nice, have them put a door in, and uh, make a studio there, and then be able to have like this area here as trap shed stuff. Mm -hmm. Put, you know, hangers and stuff where I'm gonna hang decoys, set my bags. You know, just to keep everything all in one spot. Because I'm kind of all over the place right now. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't think I can afford one yet, but you know. It's been on my mind. So anyway, just thought I'd see what your guys' ideas were. All right, well, went and grabbed something for lunch. Now we're out checking traps. So, gonna go run the line real quick. Hopefully we got something cool. Well, spot number two has nothing, except for over here. We got ourselves one of those fancy striped kittens there. Yep, got ourselves a stinker. Well, I came down here because I thought I had nothing. Another stinker. Well, here's the little guy. Nice big old white spot. I mean, not the best lines. Pretty small, his tail is kind of ratty. Uh, actually, there's no bone up there. That's weird. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any requests of stuff that I should do, um, here in a couple weeks I'm gonna be looking for, you know, things, cause hopefully stuff will calm down a little bit at work where I can get out and actually do more things. But, you know, one day at a time. But anyway, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you on the next one.